making of the treetop wind turbine wind power built by Bob Mann you need to start with a really good PMA this one here only made 5 volts at this RPM and the next one which was built by Missouri Wind and Solar makes a whopping 11 volts at the same RPM this is the one that I use in my windmills I've developed my vertical wind turbines to be bolted to a tree. Through design and using a PMA and with a Gilma Bell drive, I have achieved that at a very low cost for the consumer. Next is the real world testing. Here we can see the fit of the device to the tree and we can check our wind speed per mile per hour and for vibration. Here we go for a real world test. You don't want to do this alone. You want to do this with a sidekick so you can make sure that everything is okay and you can keep your eyes on the road. Next step, bring the crane in, put up the wind turbine, bolt it down, run, drop the power line, and hook it up to the inverter and let her go. Here you go. You can see there's Bob's treetop wind turbine in operation and a good gust of wind just flowing away there that's my perch on there to help me uh, be able to work on it and get up there and work on it and those gusts are about 10 miles an hour as you can see it just keeps spinning away we're using a the automotive style PMA uh, working fabulous and these trees are about 80 feet tall and this is the site that's uh, right next to my garage where my uh, garage is set up t with two grid ties to take the power from it and pump it back into the electric grid of the home. As you can see, go green is the way to go around here. As you can see, here are the two inverters. They're power grid inverters. Uh, the lower one starts at uh, like 8.5 volts and works its way up to 30 volts and then shuts itself off. The one above it starts at uh, like just at 18 and goes to 50. So these two uh, inverters cover a very wide range of power from the vertical wind turbine. Here's another view of the uh, two power inverted grid ties. It's a total of 1,000 watts of power. And as you can see, the cord just comes from the other side of the grid inverters. And then they go right into the wall socket which back feeds the garage and then back feeds into the home. This actually slows down my meter on the wall to almost to a crawl with just a good little gust of wind, which is pretty amazing uh, configuring that uh, it's a low cost solution for the home owner. There's no batteries needed with this one. As the wind's there, you use it and that's how the system works. And here's another view of my vertical wind turbine tree mounted. As you can see, if you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't notice it up there. Uh, the platform around it is a, a perch there so that I can work on it and do uh, upgrades for the test and stuff. But normally that wouldn't be around it. And uh, some of the trees, would, branches would still be up to the uh, top of it. It blends in very well with my neighborhood. My neighbors think it's a great idea. And just the fact that you can put up this wind turbine without a permit, without any poles, and keep the cost down around $3,000 for complete. The beauty of my design is it's all aluminum construction, very lightweight. It can be bolted to the side of a home, like at a beach house where the wind is always there. It can be painted multiple different colors with designs to give it an artsy look. When it's not turning, it has some type of value to it. I feel this is the way to go and um, I hope that the uh, public takes uh, interest in it and I'm willing to uh, show it to anybody that would like to look at it. So let's keep the wind power going and let's keep it green. Thank you very much.